exercise the two basics uh, we can uh, just show a variable uh, the water inlet temperature in the page and uh, upload the page into the controller just to see that uh, everything uh, works we can start uh, importing the variables from the uh, files that we have exported uh, uh, earlier uh, from CWeb. We can do this in two ways. The first is uh, from uh, here, in the right clicking uh, the, pro the name of the project. So right click, uh, acquire data points. Okay. Second way is uh, in the guided actions, uh, import all variables from uh, that server. That server because now we have one, but we could have uh, several. If you remember in the uh, first uh, tutorial, I told you that uh, we can have uh, several uh, server in the same project. Uh, for example, uh, a server for the web pages for the chiller, another for the rooftops, another for the air and units, uh, and so on. Now, and for all of this tutorial, uh, we will have uh, just one, uh, this uh, chiller C web. So, guided action uh, import all. Uh, or right click uh, acquire data points after that uh, the object uh, node is populated with uh, the variables uh, so here are the temperature set point uh, the temperature um, in the temperature set point proportional band uh, status of the compressors uh, and so on so now this is the right time for a quick overview of the Solution Explorer. Okay, server, I told you, is where we can create and configure the servers. Display, displays are the pages, basically is a, a web page. There are some predefined folder, main user system report. If you like them, you can use them, you can also delete somehow if you don't need them. Default don't change it. Okay, it's not important to talk about it, but the important is don't edit, don't touch it. The first page is the main, is this. So this is where we are going to place the temperature. Object, okay, is the variables. Global parameters, uh, here is the place where we will create uh, a global list, uh, global parameters, uh, basically is the place where we can create uh, something like uh, the resource used on bool and resource used on int in C-suite, if you know that product. For example, uh, later we will create a global parameter to show instead of uh, true false uh, regarding the uh, unit status, uh, we will show off on. Then we have the libraries. Uh, I already mentioned the Advice library, so this is the library provided by our partner. So there are object displays, let's call them widget for just to simplify for now, different type. You see that here you see the names but you don't see how the widget is appears. This is available in this area. In the library you have the same three, you see here and here, the same three libraries. They are in uh, opposite order but uh, it is the same. With the advantage that uh, you have the preview. So if I open the Chrome and Dialogs, uh, oh, here are the, the preview and if you move the cursors over it opens a, a, a bigger preview. HMI, alarm list, we have a button. Uh, attention, not all these widgets uh, uh, works in our system. Uh, moreover, uh, also the ones used by Karel, not all works with CPICO. Some widget works only in um, the supervisory system product. But you can see this information in the help. Uh, not here, because this is the help the help of uh, the editor. I mentioned earlier the first steps of the tutorial. Okay. 
but here but they are in the C web box the content and uh, here is uh, where the widgets are, are available. Okay, we will, I will not uh, open all these uh, categories. And then there are the carrels ones, uh, so widget for the Boolean variables, uh, LED, images, uh, switches, uh, for numbers. Uh. Okay, later we will use uh, some of these. Symbols contains simply images for the filters, the controllers, notification products, probes, compressors, and so on. So when you have to drag and to select a widget, probably is easier, faster to select them from here rather than from here. Variable type is like before don't open, don't change it. Later will be populated with other things, but don't change them. Languages, this is for the translations. Okay, this is a matter of the second, third, last exercise. Okay, this is a preview, that is enough. I told you that we want to simply show the main variable in the display, the temperature. So open the object, dev, here is the water in the temperature, drag and drop, it is small, doesn't matter, it's enough. Now we have to upload into the controller. Upload here is called in a different way, it's called distribute. So like before, there are two options. The first is here in the guided action distribute. The second is a right click distribute, okay, is exactly the same. Okay, I change some files, uh, save, of course, okay. Well, the very first time uh, the dis distribute uh, process takes a while because uh, it has to upload uh, all the files. The second time uh, is, uh, is uh, faster. It's quite fast also now because uh, I have already in uh, the controller uh, some uh, web pages. Okay, finished. Now I can open the browser. Okay, now I use uh, Chrome. Okay, type the IP of the controller. And here is the temperature. Okay, the weather is small, 15 degrees. Now I'm reducing. Uh, 10 degrees, it uh, works. Okay. We can also hear the clicks of the relay of the controller. You can see, I repeat that if, you, if I zoom, you see that the object is not resized. The web page is always fit to screen, fit to the available space in, uh, on the screen. Okay, that's all for the first exercise. Everything works, so quick review. So we have seen how to import the variables from the files that we have exported earlier. Uh, we had also an um, overview of uh, the Solution Explorer. And uh, okay, here we have the details of uh, the libraries. And uh, I just drag and drop the water in the temperature variable from the object uh, nodes, drag and drop in the page and distribute to the target and then I open the browser, I open Chrome, type the IP of the device 101012 and that's all and it worked. So that's all for the exercise number two.